doing your experiment. Before we do an experiment, I always like to set it up and show you how you're going to do it. So we're not wasting a whole bunch of time like, what am I doing? How do I do this? So on the top of page 7, do you see that rectangle? It's a blue rectangle. That is always going to be at the beginning of an experiment because it tells you this is what you need. So what's my first material that I need? I need four books. So for today, I'm going to grab like our textbooks that are up there, okay? So I have four books. And this is per group. Um, your group will be three or two people tomorrow. So I have four books. The thing with this experiment is you need to use the same type of book, okay? So all of these books are the exact same type, all right? If I would grab this book and then I would grab like a dictionary, they're not going to be the exact same height, and it's going to mess my experiment up. So I have my books. Okay, what else do I need? Cadence. Very good. Cardboard two, right here. Okay, this is our cardboard two. It's a little bit thicker than what you would find inside of a um, paper towel roll. Okay, what's after that? Raise your hand. Brayden? Tape. Very good. I will give you an amount of tape. So you'll have a piece of this. What's next? Kaylee? Stopwatch. Okay. He has a stopwatch. What else? Anna? Marble. Marble, which is right here. Is there anything else? No, there's not. Actually, what I want you to do is underneath marble, put your finger on where it says marble right now. You can do this when you have a seat. You don't have to worry about it now. But under marble, put another box, like a check box that you're going to be able to check. And you're going to write yard stick, this right here. Y-A-R-D-S-T-I-C-K. So, do you see the blue box? Do you see the blue rectangular box? Do you see where it says marble? Mm -hmm. Right under marble, write yard stick. Because this is part of the materials you will need. So this is how we are going to set up tomorrow. You're going to have one book, and you're going to take this book, and you're going to put it on the edge of a desk. You're going to need two desks for this experiment. So it's going to work out really well because our desks are placed in a way that you can. Okay? So notice it's on the edge. It's right here. It's not halfway hanging over. It's all the way flush with the edge. Then I am going to move my other books all the way over. Right now I don't need them. And I need to measure one yard between the book. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go right here, and that's where my first book is going to go, okay? This book right here will not change. This book will not move, will not change, nothing's going to happen. This is called my stopping book for tomorrow. This book, this is where I'm going to be taking my tube to. Right? And the reason you're wanting to take your tube is because you're going to be moving this book up and down, and you want it to stay in the same exact place. So I am going to tape it right here. Notice I'm not taping right on the edge where they meet, okay? Because if I do that, then it's going to slow the marble down, and it's going to affect my time. And then I'm going to put a piece of tape at the beginning. When you tape it down tomorrow, make sure the tape is really sticking flat, or else, like I said, it will cause your marble to slow down. All right, so what we're going to do is this. We are going to take the marble, and I will put it on the very edge of the tube, okay? I will count down. I will say three, two, one, go. When I say go, he's going to hit start on his stopwatch, okay? But the person who has the marble says, three, two, one, go. You are going to hit start when I say go. You're going to come a little closer. When this marble goes through the tube and when it hits, right there, when it hits the book, he is going to hit stop. Okay? Are you following me? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Very good. Okay? And he has a time. His time is 1.97. So look up on my board. Do you see on the bottom where it says one book? Do you see where it says trial one? That is where you and your group will tomorrow, don't record today's time, will record that time. 
But how many more times do I have to do this? Elena, two more times. So I'm going to do the same exact thing two more times. So I'll say clear it out. So hit the clear button. Be clear. Okay. He's ready to go. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. And we would record that time on trial two and trial three. Does that make sense? Now, go up a level. It says two books. What do you think that means? Two books. What do you think the two books mean? Awesome. She said it perfectly. You take another book, you put it under this. So what you're doing is you're raising the height and the angle of this tube. And you're going to do that three times as well. Then what am I going to do once I have three of those done? You're going to put the third book under the second one. Okay. Notice that you guys said under and you are correct. You shouldn't have to move or untake your tube. Okay, your tube should be staying where it's at. You might have to like push the tape back down like right here, but you shouldn't have to like totally untape the tube from the table in the book. The other thing I wanted to mention, when you're doing the marble and you will rotate people, so he would become where I am, I would become where he is, and then our other partner, you can stay there for now though, our other partner would be the recorder and you would rotate jobs. Does that make sense? So. Notice, I am just going to let the marble go. I've seen this done before, and you don't want to do this. You don't want to throw the marble, because that's really not the actual speed. There's more force, thank you, there's more force that I pushed it, and that's not what we're measuring. 